I'm Sean from Famous Spaces and Funnies. And I'm Sebastian from InvestComics.com. This is fic number 50 on our way to our 52nd anniversary. That's good. We're, we're <laughs> back in an old location. Ooh. Yeah. Not much longer, though. Dun, dun, dun. So mysterious. <laughs> we could be anywhere. Like, where's Waldo? Anyone only without knows. the stripes? Yeah, anyone who knows. Where is he to find? Uh. Google searches. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm funny, and it's the comedian. Before we watch the number one comedian, this was the best one yet. Uh, I still think Silk, Silk Spectre was the best one, but, but this was really, really this good. This one, well, it's it's Azarella doing what Azarella does best, but this one felt the most like it took place before Watchmen. Yes, it did. You know, it it, it it's got that um, historical fiction. Look, real events turned awry. Find out, you know, the last, his involvement like with the Kennedys and Marilyn Monroe, cool. and, and oh my goodness. Those last three pages really, ooh, those were hard to. Apparently, in the in the DC universe, Jackie Kennedy. <laughs> good for her. <laughs> she, she a bit of a hard ass bitch. Speaking of so good. Nightwing number 10. Blah. <laughs> 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 Let's let's it's, get back to oh. the Batman mystery mode going on here. Holy crap. Oh, man. He's more of a detective than the Christian Bale Batman will ever be. I didn't say that he did. I like saying it. And again, then, whatever's going on with these these alpha guys, oh man, it is good. The is Paragon, good. and I like that the circus story is over, but not over. But not over. We're continuing Haley's. Plus, because not only did he have that, you know, this is where my my parents died, and interesting, who he ends up working with in yep. this. You know, this it's just light. It's like. Onions don't have this many layers. You, Neither do ogres. Yeah, you don't have to read the previous ones to, to jump on. This is a good jumping off oh, point. Yeah. I this, recommend yeah. reading the previous ones. You, you could, this issue, you could never have even, you, you don't even have to know who the Nightwing is. Yeah. And this you, will explain it. all of it. Saga number four. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the Will is continuing to be one of the best characters in here, and just what he does, and where, what is his name? Sext just like the expressions on Lion Cat. Sextillion is the name of <laughs> Lion Cat. I've never awesome. seen a cat, well, no, I guess it's not true. I was going to say, I've never seen a cat actually look disappointed, but I guess they always kind of do. Just what the Will does when he finds out a certain thing, is just like, nope, yeah, apparently off. For Will, a bastard, he's got a line Will that he doesn't want to cross. Yeah, it, yeah, it was awesome. And then the last page, Vaughn just continues to leave you wanting more. I'm like, alright, there's going to be more. Stupid and letter who, column. Who'd have thought that one of my favorite new characters of the year would be a disemboweled ghost chick with her, who's a babysitter. She's awesome. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Let's get a whole cluster. Uh, it's like an a a ABX Avengers versus nightmare. X Avengers vs. X-Men 6. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, this, a lot of people were saying it, so I guess I'll say it too. This is a great jumping on point. Just ignore the first five. <laughs> this this is... <laughs> although reading between five and six, though, obviously something happens to them where they get this, but I'm like... I was reading it, and I feel like I was missing an issue somewhere, and then I read Uncanny X-Men from last week, yeah. and everything tied in. So. I, uh, I, 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 I like the character Hope for the first time in her existence. I didn't like what the Avengers were wearing, that weird gear that they all of a sudden yeah. showed up in. Yeah, suddenly, yeah. So all right. Suddenly, they're, they're, we were reading the Ultimates, and we, <laughs> we but, wanted to dress like, I have got thing, those things on his back. Cyclops and Nightwing have the same, the same uh, costume designer. And, and Taylor. And apparently the Phoenix Force brings out Scott Summers' inner asshole. Yeah, but, you know, someone had to. Otherwise, just come back. I'm Scott. Go All right. <laughs> Oddly enough... Um, new Avengers 27. Yeah, New Avengers 27 was really, really good. Uh, it This whole storyline of explaining the relationship between um, the Phoenix Force and the Iron Fist, whatever it is, Fist of whatever he calls it. I don't know. But this issue, the other issues, I was like, man, this one issue, you don't need to read any of the rest of the storyline. This explains everything. And in like a six page thing at the back, she has to get an additional training. Uh, this new Iron Fist chick that they've picked has to get some additional training from Spider Man. And Sean, Sean said it last week. 
that Brian, you know, Brian Bendis, if there's one thing he does he really, really Spider-Man. well, it's he writes Spider-Man. And yeah, later you'll have to just read like the last six pages of this. Right. It, it's like <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. So that was we'll good. Keep that off to the side. All right. Um, AVX Uncanny X Men number fourteen. Woo! Really ties in. Um, there's a stained glass. There's a there's a mural painted on Mr. Sinister's wall that has the five X Men that have the Phoenix powers, and he looks at it and says, "Useless. The Phoenix deserves better." That's it for the AVX <laughs> crossover. It's basically just weird, sinister, and a lot of Madeline Pryor clones. And uh, but they put that banner on there. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's essential. Secret Avengers was was okay. Um, apparently, bringing back uh, Captain Marvel was the single most pointless thing <laughs> in the Marvel universe. I'm back. I'm not. <laughs> huh? Did anybody see that? <laughs> what was that? I think it was the life and death of Captain Marvel. <laughs> Oh, doesn't he do this every couple of years? Yes, oh, yes, he oh does. Um, I'm back. What? Basically, a giant setup for why uh, Carol Danvers is gonna get a stupid haircut and uh, change and change her name to to Captain Marvel and keep the series go and and keep the name alive. Uh, we do get a bit a flesh, a little bit of binary. I'm confused by this because this has um, the Protector in it, and last week the Avengers basically told the Protector. Get the hell out! And Beast said, "You know, I'll kill you myself." Um, this week, they're like, "Oh, protector, you look so sad." So I don't know where they take place. If that one took place after this, before, I, or they forgave him already. I don't know. Avengers vs. Academy? Did you, uh, I mean, Avengers vs. Academy? Yes. Avengers Academy. <laughs> <number 13, laughs> school. No, I did not read it because what did you I have? read it in trade. You stupid! I read a lot of Marvel stuff yeah. in trade. Do I read books that you like in trade? Apparently, yes, this book, yeah, you do. <laughs> Apparently this book is really good. This, yeah, oh my god. Invincible Walking Dead. Well, I'm just saying. You will, you will believe that um, a boy can get all well, emotionally attached to a sentinel. Um, and they best friends. It's, again, Christos Gage really just goes right to, he writes great people. I, I, I feel for these characters. You will too. Wait, it's, it's so good. Let's just get to the... the Speaking of feels. Yeah. Stop nope. X-Men 51. <laughs> Here's the bottom line. Yeah, gay marriage. Cool. Whatever. That's dupe. That's your right. Dupe approves. That's your review. <laughs> dupe. We we like dupe. This issue, I will say, we we read issue fifty and reviewed it and thought that the issue was not so strong. Um, uh, but you know, this is these are the issues everybody's talking about because they're on the news. They're dupe. You know, forget whether or not anybody likes mutants. Half America says yay, gay. Half America says no. Says nay, gay. Say it all rhymes. Yay, gay, nay, gay. Um, we People can do whatever they want. We're, we're fine with that. You know, we, we say yay, gay over here. Um, and so does Dupe, because when, when the two grooms smooch, everybody's like Duke looking on, and Dupe's like, woo! So, and, and we're big Dupe fans. Also, um, the catering must not be that good, because it really violently disagrees with Wolverine. But this issue was, was much better than, than number 50, and I, I really actually like this. New Mutants, number 44. I'm always amazed how far this book's See, gone. <laughs> I, I put these behind each other on purpose, and yeah, I, I love listening to you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought it would get that far. I thought it would be like 20-something. Yeah, that's what they said when I was born. Um, this issue deals with the fact that Karma is not entirely in control of herself, but is entirely in control of everybody else, and she keeps controlling people, because that's her power, but... She doesn't even control of herself, so it's like something's making her take control of people. All right, this issue is about Karma, who isn't entirely in control of herself, but keeps taking control of other people. I'd like to tell you that these stories are somehow connected. They don't actually seem to be, um, but this is leading to, um, you know, fear of the future. It's another, uh, you know, every couple of minutes the X-Men have to find out that in their future everything's gone to hell. This is one of those, but it's good because I like the new. Dark Avengers 176. It's surprisingly good. This is what is happening to the Did actual Thunderbolts. Did 175? Yeah. Oh. I did because that was the new team where they became Dark Avengers, and I, and I liked it. This, I've never, I haven't read Thunderbolts in like forever. I know nothing of this new team. I loved this issue. I don't know who Troll is. I love her. Um, Mr. Hyde <laughs> is just Oh, just that's brilliant. clever. Look at that. And clever. You, you've okay. got uh, the Return of Man thing, though not quite as you've... No, exactly as you've always seen him, but not as you've ever heard him before. And it was just really, really good. Wonder Woman number 10 from Vertigo. I'm sorry, I mean DC. <laughs> you did read this one, right? Yes. All right. Oh, this is so good. So, so good. And 
I just love this art. No, whoever, the, this is the new art. It, there's there's two different yeah. artists in there, and they do so oh, well man. that I, I couldn't actually tell just read the this pages book. where it's I don't even, we, so good. We told you enough about this book that if you're not reading it, you're missing out. And yeah, she doesn't. Wonder Woman doesn't lie, and Wonder Woman will find a way to make Hades or Hell, as he's calling himself at the moment, fall in love with himself for the first time, as even if it's a violent, a violent action. Avenging Spider-Man number eight. I, I love Avenging Spider-Man. This is technically an epilogue to, um, uh, what's the thing that was in Spider-Man? Uh, Ends of the, Ends Ends of the, of the Earth. Earth. It's really a, they may, they may very well have killed off Silver Sable. This is really a flashback story to, 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 to uh, you know, yeah. Our friend used to draw Silver Sable <laughs> for Marvel. Alas, Nelson, this is, this is why they're not calling you. Um, they already killed Night Thrash or the other thing he worked on, but this was a you know it's it's a untold story of of Silver Sable with, with, and Spidey, and it, it's it's pretty good. X Factor two thirty eight going it's back just, to the nineties covers. It's, it's just amazing. It's, it's, that's your review. Yeah. That, this, all right. I have nothing else to tell you. Just read X Factor. That's all you need to know. Daredevil fourteen. This is really really good. And, and Chris Somney drew it, so I've read it. <laughs> and it's, you know, I, I, I can't, so I can't wait, for the, I can't wait for the next issue. All right, there's, you know, Daredevil loses his sight and gains this is the best enhanced one. senses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the best last cover, last page of the week, month, year, whatever. <laughs> this book, Mark Waite is doing such great stuff, and the handful of artists that come on and off this book I just read the are, all, uh, are, are all so good. You I get so confused all of them. sometimes. I'm like, ah, okay. You should. Grim Leaper number two. One of my new favorite books. We were just talking about this at, at the, the round yeah. table event that we have here at Famous Faces of Funnies uh, on a monthly basis. This book is so, so good. The, the idea of there's a man and a woman, each of whom have died horrible deaths, and now just wake up in the bodies of other people in this oh tiny little town, <laughs> only to die horrible little deaths the next day. They're just cursed to keep dying. And I don't know if there's a, a lesson to it, a reason for it. It seems that there may be something going on. Oh, my God. Um, some of the people they wake up and, and are interested. These little stories in the back, um, what do they call them? Uh, these little... Love stories to die for. Yeah, these, it's, they're, they're just... <laughs> I don't even have words. This is so good. It's oh, so not what oh, you used oh, to. Oh, God, oh. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> <I'll change. laughs> Ghostbusters number 10. This book continues to be do, 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 one of the best things IDW is putting out. This book is, is if you're is that any Michael former, Jackson? <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> sort of. Uh, the zombies show up and actually start to dance. They're in New Orleans, so it oh, kind of makes sense. <laughs> that's fantastic. It's brilliant. Just, just read this. It, this this issue. There's the twist. They get hired to get your ghost by. Now I need to catch uh, up on uh, that. Another undead. It's it's brilliant. Green Lantern Corps number ten is good. Um, I've read the story the, before. It's yeah, it, it's Many good. Times. It's just, um, I'm at this point, I am Alpha Lanterned out. Yeah, I'm tired I'm of the fact that, the that so, there's been like 400 stories focusing on. Look at the Alpha. I, I don't care anymore about the Alpha Lanterns. Legion of Superheroes number ten continues to just be great. It's it's apparently it's, these are reviews. I yeah. love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> the monitor <laughs> is making you happy. They make me so happy. Giant teeth and a case system. What are you gonna do? Um, yeah, it's it's it's, it's Paul Levitt. It's, it's 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 the Legion. It's great. Can we continue the streak? Batman Beyond number five. It is awesome. It's, be, it's be beyond so awesome. This book, I, I I didn't know what to expect from this. I didn't really like the. Um, you know, they did that Batman Beyond limited series, and everybody was like, "This is great." And I was like, "This is okay." And then they did his regular series, and I didn't bother following it. And then they rebooted everything, and, and they started with this. And uh, this became, uh, it, it's, it's, it's one of my favorites. The, um, the story here, you, you get the, you, the behind the scenes of the guy who was actually responsible for killing Terry McGinnis' father. Uh, you get his story, and you get um, everything old is new again. Uh, you know, the name of the guy who took down Terry McGinnis' dad. It's, you get the, the conclusion to the... Uh, Origin of Warhawk, which is just beautifully drawn and, and a really well told story. You get um, the Superman Beyond story, which continues the introduction of this new Luthor uh, trying to take down Superman. It's, it's just a lot of fun, really good. Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi, number five. 
is over, but it's yeah. not over. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So it's another Star Wars book where yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll it's another miniseries where to, you get into another one. They'll have the Dawn of the Sith basically next, because at this point the Sith are just a race, but now oh, we found out soon. about a group of Force Hunters that are... Um, Force hounds, I think they call them. They're force sensitive. They're they're trained. They they've actually got lightsabers before the Jedi, and they can hunt down. The, and they have no. This guy, it's not even that he's just a sociopath. He's been so trained to be a sociopath, he doesn't even realize. He he's baffled by everyone else being altruistic. He, he can't get. Secret history of D.B. Cooper number four. I'm gonna say so good so many times. This is this this. this uh, I thought that was your review. No, it, this this book is so great. Um, this is the twist on top of twist issue, and you've. I, 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 I couldn't do this justice to explain it, but suffice it that you've got double agents, you've got. It's really actually leading up to um, the, the, the actual D.B. Cooper story. Of, of, I think he's about to get on the plane that in real life D.B. Cooper hijacks and jumps off of and has never been found. So I think we're, we're, we're getting towards that, but at the same time, there's so many other things going on in this, this psychic dream realm that he assassinates. Um, it's a Cold War time, so he's, he's assassinating uh, Russians and, and, and commies and not trusting talking teddy bears. It's, it's just amazing. I don't trust talking teddy bears either. You read this, right? Yes. Did I? Yes. Yeah. Godzilla, yeah. Godzilla number two. Godzilla. Wait, no, it's on the power to read. It's oh. the, one, the one book, that and a couple from when I was <laughs> He just looks. What? I know. It's uh, it's continuing Jason Statham and his team. I forgot. <laughs> versus, I totally forgot. Versus, this is Crank versus, versus Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah, and this one they're taking on uh, Ang Ang Angerus. Uh, they keep calling him the pill bug. He's the little rolly one with the, with the I horn. I totally forgot it's, about it's this. That's why I was confused. It's by it's, it. it's it's awesome on top of awesome. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Splinter. Uh, once again, the, it's a micro series. It's number five. Uh, so. It just continues where TMNT number 10 left off, pretty much, and it gives you a history that you read earlier in the series. So this is kind of the weakest of the micro series. It's still good. It gives you a history and like the resurrection and how they believe in all that stuff. So I am the resurrection. overall, it was, it was decent. It wasn't the strongest of the micro series, but still a decent read. Uh, Planet of the Apes number 15 continues to be better than you will ever believe me that it is. And uh, here's the thing: is James Franco in it? No. Oh. <laughs> but always... neither is Mark Wahlberg. So. Yeah. You know, that's Why would I want to read this? I'm They're both <laughs> always stoned in every movie just, they're yeah. in. <laughs> just apes trying to follow a conversation between stoned Wahlberg and Franco. That, that would actually... That's your review. Shadow number three. Shadow number three continues to be strong. This is a very wordy issue, but... Uh, but it's good. It's one of those where I kept thinking, oh, there's a lot of words, and I had a big stack to get through for, the, for these reviews. That's how I felt for so Massive. I was, I was, like, oh I was my God. like, you know, I, let me just kind of skim it, and then I'd be like, no, because I'd have to go back because there's a lot going on, and it, it's just good. Mars Attacks number one. That's the review. <laughs> it, it's, uh, it, it's, it, it's, it's a lead up? Yeah, it's it's a flashback. You know, they jump back to 1962, which I believe is around when the cards came out. Um, you can collect all 58 covers because <laughs> they did all the <laughs> they did the entire series of look. It's, it says in the back, and they show you all the covers, and it says, "Oh my God. cover checklist: collect all 58 covers." Every card from the original 1962 set, it no was 1962, Taylor is represented, <laughs> plus three exclusive covers by John McCree, uh, Zena Saunders, and Matt Frank. All right, we're moving on to the next there, book now. There, there's there's, there's a lot of covers. Alabaster Wolves number three of five. Is good. This is like, if you like anything Vertigo or that the Dark Horse, you know, they do a lot this of the Vertigo. This just came out this movie. week, right? Yeah. And it is, is, is good. Why? Here's my problem. Prototype 2 is being solicited for April 24th, 2012. I'm just saying, why not get a more updated... Just because it already came out doesn't mean some dork doesn't you know. Ooh, that's out? I forgot about that. I can, I can go buy that when they read it on their comic. Most video game get Merciless <laughs> number two, Rise of Ming. It, Flash Gordon. Yeah, this, I, it's really, really good. I, I like this. Yeah, it's basically, <laughs> Young Ming is just Sinestro. <laughs> and with, with <laughs> Namor's powers. Yeah, he's... Well, he's got a flight thing, uh, but he's, um, yeah, it, it's good. And of course, ironically enough, I read that this morning. 
And as I was up to that in my stack to read, Bella, my daughter, who sometimes pops on and, and reviews a couple of things, uh, we looked Bella. at me and said, Daddy, can I watch Flash Gordon? And she wanted to watch the... the so I'm reading this with, you know, Flash! Ah! Save the universe! And, you know, in the background, so that was good. Memorial number six. Another one that's over, but is not over, and I really am glad that it is not over, because I want more of this. I do like Alice's art. I, I, it's really good. It, th this whole book has just been great. And, uh, you know, if you haven't been reading this, it's done now, so there should be a trade soon. Get that and, and, and read this, IDW's because really good. this is amazing, and I think it'll be even more amazing reading it the whole way through. So, so read that. Wolverine 608, covered by Chris Somney, interior, not by Chris Somney. <laughs> So it's, that's my it's review. Paul it's you, not Chris Somney. But it's Paul Pelletier. Chris Somney. Paul Pelletier. Uh, nothing against Paul. He drew Kyle's run on Green Lantern for a while, but he's not Chris Somney. But he is Paul Pelletier. But he's not Chris <laughs> Somney. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this is good. Um, it's my last issue of Wolverine because uh, the next issue, Jeff, Jeff Loeb takes Loeb over Wolverine with, um, with, with Sabretooth Reborn. And I don't know which I care about less, Sabretooth or Jeff Loeb, but it's, it's damn close. But this was good. This was uh, Cullen Bunn. This was um, wrapping up the the storyline with um, uh, Dr. Rot. And uh, again, it's one of those that wraps up everything but leaves it open for we, we could have this again so we can bring Cullen ba Bunn back on here. We can throw some more Dr. Rot st related stuff in here. And this was just really, really good. He, he gives, he, he writes Wolverine. People can either write Wolverine so that it works or write Wolverine so that it's just, look, I'm writing Wolverine. Jason Aaron does a really good job. He, he and, and, and Colin Bunn's another one. What time is it? Adventure time! Number five. Woo! See, I'm sad. My daughter has the um, the fin hat, but it's in my, my wife's car. We were going to have her review this issue uh, in the fin hat. She can do number six. Little, 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 yeah, but, you know, but the good news is there'll be more. Area. You know? Yeah, so we're going to have also. Hey, this issue was a lot of fun. It's just, I can't. If, I can't wait to read this trade. <laughs> I can't. If, if, you, if you like the show, you will like the comic. Yes. It's just that good. It's not just rehashing stuff from, but they totally get the vein, and they do stuff that, like, the, you read this? No, I'm waiting for the trade on all right oh now. I can't wait, though. They, they find, like, they just go. They have, they have a contest over a cupcake, and they have to go, and the contest that BMO comes up with them for is whoever can walk the longest in a straight line wins. So they walk, like, all the way around the, the world. <laughs> And they end up coming to, they think it's their house, but it's not. And there's this kid who looks like Finn, but has Jake's eyes, and the Finn hat is, is Jake's color. And he talks in two different voices, and his name is Tim. He's Adventure Tim, and he lives with um, uh, Ample. It's, it's Bimo. It's, a, it's another Bimo, and, and, it's, and, it's, and <laughs> it's almost them, and it's just the greatest. They team up, and... It's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Not uh, bad reviews this week. This all right. is just a... So good. Here's a media review. July 10th, Adventure Time Season 1 comes out on DVD. Woo! Or Blu-ray. Oh, then it'll always be Adventure Time at our house. It's going to be so awesome. <laughs> Creator number one, Sebastian's character might make an appearance again, I'm guessing, right? No. No. Oh, I don't know. If he sends me an email that says, Hey, can I have Cat 5 smack into a wall in the background of number 27? I'll be like, sure. Knock yourself out. Or knock her out. Whatever works. This everything um, Big Dog Inc. puts out has been really good. Um, this this issue, if you read the miniseries, this is this is a great follow-up. You should read the if, miniseries, especially issue four, because it's got my cat. But if you haven't read the miniseries, you don't need to. This is this is completely user-friendly. You jump in, you get everything. It's got a bad guy named Al Albatross, who curses a lot and is just fun, and uh, it's, it's good. It's just good stuff. Higher grounds or higher, higher earth, earth number two. Uh, which is actually where Mark Wahlberg and James Franco ended up when they were looking for the Planet of the Apes. They ended up on Higher Earth. Um, so many brownies. And suddenly, so many brownies. Suddenly, Chris Tucker and, and Ice Cube came out. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> that monkey. <laughs> that, that, that gorilla got knocked up. The Planet of the <laughs> Apes got up. on Higher Earth. <laughs> but no, th this, is, this is good. There's something that keeps it from being ridiculously great. Like, I want to be like, so good, but instead I'll just be like, good. Um, but it is, it's still, it's still good, and it, it's got, it, it's got a lot of potential. Young Justice 17. It's, it's still better, better than, than Teen Titans. Titans. Is he not going yet? Uh, no, but they Let did. Let me know when that happens. the new solicits, the new solicits, the, uh, they're going to do the, it's the five years later. Then I'll read like those issues. <laughs> and, and they're going to jump off like that.
Alright. Walking Dead 99. Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, 99's everything a is setting up for number 100. For 100. And at the end of this issue, it's like, oh, it's it, it's 48 all over again coming up. Like, everything that, that that's bad can happen. You know what made me laugh? <laughs> it says something to fear, and it's got a guy with a hammer. So this is the fear itself, Walking Dead. <laughs> Anyways, 100 comes out July... Was it 11? Yeah, right? Rick? July 11th? Yeah. Yeah, see, I got this. I got help. <laughs> Thank you, Magic July, Boys. <laughs> July 11th. <laughs> issue 100. We ordered 400 copies of it. We're going to have a ton of it. Anyone who watches this that's local needs to come. We're having a Walking Dead day. We're going to have Walking Dead playing in the background. We're going to have all sorts of craziness going. Mathematically, 400 100s, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of... That's a, that's a, There's eight a different lot covers. of Walking Dead. It's going to be awesome. Birds but not 58, so you can actually collect them. Yes. <laughs> Birds of Prey number 10. Continues to be good. You get an appearance from Batman, given his uh, disapproval, as it were. Um, and you get a connect of... You know, the Birds of Prey were always connected to, to Batman, and they still sort of operate out of Gotham, and he still knows who all of them are. But in the New 52, he doesn't have those long-standing connections with all of them. So Batman and uh, Black Canary, not exactly eye-to-eye, -eye, especially if you're like, hey, we're going to save uh, Poison Ivy's life today. <laughs> Supergirl 10. Did you read this one? Uh, this is good. This wraps up the, uh, the, 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 the Black Banshee story. Um, is just... Some, see, this is for these uh, any of these characters that have been completely revamped. S Supergirl is doing it the right way, and not all of them do. <coughs> Superman books, um, because it it, or especially like you know, the Teen Titans books or whatever. This is actually building on not just stuff happening to this person, but on actual characterization and character growth, and that's that's been a lot of fun. Blue Beetle ten, best issue of Blue Beetle yet, I don't know, and. I read it. I I, I, I I read it only because it had uh, Mr. Bones in it. But then I completely had had no idea. I don't read the, the solicits too much. That the last page was going to make me go, wait, what? Can you flip back. I thought it was the joke. Yeah, <laughs> that that was that was that it. No, last page. Well, what, what, the, what the? What the? Who's that guy? What the? What? Next issue, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle together again for the first time. Thanks for rubbing that in. But uh, <laughs> Ted, who? <laughs> But no, it was really good. Catwoman 10. This continues to actually be... Like every, it continues to be really good. You get more insight to this Spark character and who he is and what he's about. Oh, he's about to get inside, um, all right. Or is he? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you also get the idea that if you're going to be a criminal in Gotham, maybe um, having the whole world know that you prowl around getting all stray cat strut with Batman on rooftops... Um, criminal element, not really a big fan of Batman, so if you're a criminal in Gotham who's known to be on the smoochity smoochity bangity bangity with Batman Batman, they may not appreciate that. Just that's, okay. that's it. Uh, this is episode 50, so two more episodes. I and feel like we, we should have hated been doing more this stuff. For a year. Yeah. <laughs> this was a lot of. Well, we love it. But There's something out there. Hey, we just. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Newsarama. I said. I just said something great bad things about it. We'll find it. <laughs> we'll find it and review it next week. All right. Bye. Woohoo.